Hey guys, do you want the latest stock Android experience with better speed and no bloat? Then this video is just for you. Today I'll show you how to install Android 16 on any Samsung phone using a GSI ROM. It's smooth, clean and gives you the newest Android 16 features, all without needing a custom ROM port. But before we start, a quick disclaimer. Installing a custom ROM will void your warranty and permanently trip knocks on Samsung devices. Also, some banking apps may also not work properly on this ROM, depending on the app's security. And yes, there's a chance your phone could get stuck in a boot loop. So make sure to download your stock firmware first, just to be safe. If something goes wrong, check the boot loop fix video linked in the description. Alright, so here's my Samsung Galaxy A52s running on One UI 6 and Android 14. As you can see, it's the stock Samsung interface. But yes, we're about to ditch One UI for something way better. First, tap on build number 7 times. To enable developer options, you'll see it appear in settings. Now here's an important step. Make sure your bootloader is already unlocked and TWRP recovery is installed on your device. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry. I've made separate videos showing how to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP on Samsung devices. You'll find both links in the description below. Once that's done, make sure to enable USB debugging as well. Now let's download the Android 16 ROM. First, download and install the Treble Info app. The link is in the description below. Open the app, then tap on Browse Images. Here, as you can see, this is the official Android 16 GS iROM. Just click on Download to get the file. Once it's downloaded, just move the ROM file to your PC, since we're going to flash it using fast boot mode. After moving the file, it's time to boot into TWRP recovery on your Samsung device. First, connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable and then restart the device. As soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up plus power button until you see the Samsung logo again. This will boot your phone into TWRP recovery. So wait for it. Alright, the device is now booted into TWRP recovery. Here, tap on Reboot and then choose Fast Boot. Your phone will now boot into Fast Boot mode. Now, Samsung doesn't officially support Fast Boot, but thanks to custom recoveries like TWRP, we can access Fast Boot mode anyway. Alright, once your device is booted into Fast Boot mode, let's move to the PC screen. On your PC, you'll need two things, the Platform Tools folder and the Android 16 ROM file. Go ahead and extract both of them. Make sure to use 7-zip to extract the ROM. That way you'll get the actual dot .image file we need to flash. Once that's done, you can delete the original zip file to keep things clean. Now open the Platform Tools folder, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press Enter. This will open command prompt right inside the folder. Now, in the command prompt window, type fastboot devices and press enter. If you see a serial number, that means your device is properly detected and you're good to go. Next, type fastboot flash system followed by the full path of the Android 16 image file you extracted earlier. Double check the file name and make sure the path is correct. Then press enter to start flashing the ROM to your device. The flashing process will take a few minutes, so just wait until it completes. I'm going to fast forward this part to save time. And yes, the ROM has now been flashed successfully. Now it's time to reboot the device. In TWRP, tap on Reboot, then select Recovery. This will reboot your phone back into TWRP Recovery, so just wait for it to load. Once you're back in TWRP, go to the Wipe section, then tap on Format Data. Type yes and hit enter. This will erase all the data on your device and it's an important step to prevent boot issues. Once that's done, simply tap on reboot and your device will now boot into Android 16. Keep in mind, the first boot can take 2 to 5 minutes, so don't panic if it looks stuck. Just let the phone sit for a few minutes and it'll finish booting on its own. No need to touch anything. And there we go. The device has booted successfully into Android 16. 
let me quickly go through the initial setup and then I'll show you how the new UI looks and what features you get. All right, the device is now fully booted and ready to use. Let's go ahead and check the Android version. Open settings, scroll down to about phone, then tap on Android version. And there it is. Android 16 is now up and running on our Samsung device, successfully installed and ready to use. And just look at this. The UI is super clean and smooth. You're getting the pure stock Android experience just like on a Pixel device. There's no Samsung bloatware, no ads, and everything feels fast and responsive. Now keep in mind, since this is an early GSI build of Android 16, some features might not work properly or may be missing. That's because Android 16 is still in beta and GSI builds often have limited hardware support, especially on Samsung devices. But for testing the latest Android and getting a feel for what's coming, this setup works great. So that's how you can install Android 16 on any Samsung phone using a GSI ROM step by step. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.